Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what does your person want to tell you, but is scared to come forward and open up. Okay, so what is it that they want to share with you, but they're not coming forward? Um, they're scared of revealing this to you. What are they afraid of here? This is going to be a general reading, guys. Please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and begin. interesting we've got a few major arcana cards here and let me tell you this is someone who has a few things to say to you this is someone who it feels like currently you guys are not necessarily communicating you're not talking at least there's no verbal communication or even if it is it just feels very brief. It feels very surface level like. Um, this is someone who I feel like is really holding back their true innermost private thoughts here. And it feels like this person has so much to say to you, but they're holding back. And I think the reason for that is very strategic. I feel like this, purpose, this person may be holding back communication or holding back from really sharing their thoughts with you. Um, it could be as a way of like they're trying to emotionally punish you. They could also be trying to manipulate you. They could be uh, much like the wounded soldier that lays at rest. He, they themselves could be hurting. And because they're feeling, um, you know, uh, wounds, they're feeling hurt, they're feeling pain, emotional anguish, they then are projecting that onto you and onto this connection here. So I feel like it is deliberate. Okay, this per the fact that this person isn't communicating, isn't talking, it, it feels quite intentional, it feels quite deliberate. Um, I'm also seeing that this person feels that they need space, okay? They need space to talk, they need, uh, sorry, to think things through, mental space, because it feels like there's so much that they want to share with you, but it's almost like they can't find the right words, okay? They don't want to say something that could possibly already fuel or worsen this already complicated situation here, um, and they don't want to... Maybe they're also trying to wait to, you know, they're trying to hold back communication because it feels like maybe this is an energy that wants, it, they could be potentially like trying to play games, okay, and maybe they want you to reach out first because if you do, it'll feel like they're winning on some level. I know it sounds very juvenile and very frivolous, but it's just an energy that we're picking up. Now, this is someone who wants to say sorry to you, but hasn't have they this is someone with the justice card i feel like this is an energy that feels like they owe you an apology i feel like a part of them is a little bit too proud though honestly i feel like this person is scared because if they apologize okay and by the way i think this is an overdue apology but if they apologize that their apology would mean it would confirm that what they did was the wrong thing okay or what they said was the wrong thing to say so and they're a little bit pr proud, okay? Their ego is a little bit inflated and it's getting in the way. So they know they owe you an apology, whether consciously or subconsciously. But if they were to go ahead and apologize to you, they would only be reaffirming it to themselves that they were in the wrong. And even though they know they were in the wrong, okay? Admitting it is a whole different story. And it just feels your person's not ready to do that. So um, I'm seeing an, uh, an apology is what they want to come uh, come in with. I'm also seeing that this person wants to take accountability, personal accountability for their actions. And maybe this is why they're not talking. And you know what? Don't rush to communicate because I think this person needs more time to think things through. Because I'm seeing that there needs to be personal accountability or personal responsibility for their actions here. Um, they're, okay, they're scared though. They're shaking in their boots. To me, it's an energy that is scared to admit he... He did, he or her, he or she did something wrong or he or she said something wrong. To me, it's an energy that feels like they're scared to own up to their actions and they're shaking in the boots. The situation isn't as black and white, right? There's patches of gray area. It's a little bit complicated. Um, 
I'm also seeing that they may have done something that they regret, but they're not ready to take responsibility. Even though on a, on a very small level, they may admit it to themselves or on a subconscious um, level, but it just feels like they're not ready to take accountability for their actions. And they're also not ready to stand accountable. Okay, so to stand accountable for the consequences that are going to ensue because of their actions here. Maybe this person is also scared that if they do finally admit them their wrongdoing here that you're going to accept it but you're going to move on from this person or that you might not accept it and you might not give them the second chance. And I think this is this person is purposely delaying contact and communication or this apology because yes, you know, it would mean their ego might get bruised and it would mean that they would then have to admit and reaffirm their wrongdoing. But I also feel like this person is scared because they won't get a second chance to you. So they're partial to that as well. Um, I'm also seeing that because of justice, there's some sort of long-term repercussion. So they know what they did is wrong, but they don't want to face the consequences. They're shaking in their boots here. You know what? They, they're not standing by their decisions. Whatever it is they've done here, I feel like they've plunged into like the, into silence. They've plunged into like a shadowy depth here. They're withdrawn and I think they're... They're not doing so well from what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing that they're struggling to find integrity and strength in their character here. This is someone who spies on you. This is someone who's doing cyber stalking. This is someone who is... So even if you guys are not communicating here, it feels like this person is watching your social media um, pages or your stories very closely. So every time you post something or every time you comment or someone comments on your photos here, this person is across it. And it's a way for, it's a way for them to stay and feel connected to you. Okay, at its core, I think this person is afraid to tell you the truth. At the core of this reading, I feel like there is a truth here, the truth about how they really feel about you, the truth about um, their actions here, and the fact that they're not proud of their actions, the truth that they're somewhat are coming across as emotionally immature or juvenile, and they can't stand up or up to their actions. Because again, if they owed up to their actions, it would mean that they're admitting the truth, and the truth. It's not something a lot of people can handle, is it now? Um, the truth about their feelings is that this person does think the world of you. This person does see you in their future. This person does want a life with you. They want to build a future with you. So this is why I feel like with your current situation, it's quite uncomfortable because it's pushing this person to whatever they said or done here. It's, you know, it's hurt you because you've come up as a four of swords energy, right? It's wounded you. It's hurt you. You might feel a sense of rejection, betrayal, abandonment. You might feel a sense of, you know, hurt, um, retaliation. So, you know, it, it's, it's wounded you from what I can see. But I think it's also pushed your person, it's challenged your person to explore um, certain depths of their character here. Your person thinks that whatever it is that's happening between the two of you, whatever it is that they said or have done or whatever it is that has transpired here, they feel like the two of you could reconcile your differences. They feel like the two of you could, you know, especially with justice here, like the two of you could make things right again. Okay, justice represents balance, structure. However, I think that this silence, and I, I think whatever has happened here, you have to understand, has not it's not weakened your connection with each other. It's not weakened your feelings for each other. It's only strengthened them. But I just think someone here is a little bit too proud to admit what's really going on. Um, and because justice alongside the Four of Swords is placed alongside the Four of Swords, you have to understand that this period of no contact, no communication is kind of allowing them to organize their thoughts a little bit better okay so don't reach out don't communicate here because their silence is strategic their silence is intentional here um, and they will talk they will communicate but let them come around okay don't force anything 
let everything flow let everything flow in fluidity here okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now